Alright, this is a rating for Aries. It is Pink Moon Predictions. Mostly talks about the reflection, healing, partnerships, Pink Moon, uh, love magic, and manifestations. Okay, and your first card. Um, reflection, where does the full moon find me? The world card. The world card is the successful achievement of a goal, doing what you set out to do, feeling pride and enjoying rewards, feeling that all is right with the world. So that is where you start before the uh, full moon in, I think it's April. April, it's somewhere around either the 8th or the 13th. Um, pink moon predictions. Um, so yeah, that's how you're starting. Um, healing. Where, where do I need forgiveness is the Five of Cups. Um, reactions to a loss or grief. Um, you could have lost a family member, a friend, something like that. Or it could have been a relationship. It could be, it could be a lot of things. It could be that, like you lost your job. It could be really anything. Um, partnerships. Who and what will be um, your ally? The Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is Happy Surprise, Dreamer, Sensitivity. So, um, this could be somebody that you know. It could be a friend. It could be somebody you work with. Um, it's like somebody coming into, like, your space. You might not know this person right now, but you will. Or it could be an ex, or it could be a current relationship if you're in a relationship. Um, next card is the pink moon itself. Who and what is shining down on you, ready to receive? It's the king of wands. Um, you might not be able to harness this energy just yet. That's why it's in reverse. So it's impulsive, overbearing, unachievable expectations. So you're kind of wheeling this power and you're kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, you're kind of just feeling the energy out. It's kind of like when you go into your mom's closet and you're trying on her shoes and you're like five years old. And you're like, oh, I love these clothes and stuff. And then you're like, eh, can't fit into them. I can't go out like this. All right. Um, and then you have love magic. What do I need to know about my love life? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The Five of Swords. Five of Swords. A victory um, tinged with defeat. So this could be a passing partnership. This could be an ending partnership. This could be a renewal of something else. So, but usually it's an ending so you can start a new beginning. Um, but usually takes a minute, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, this, 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 like, with tarot cards, it's mostly either looking at the past, present, or the future, and the present usually takes about five months to speed up, so, um, this might be in the making, this might be a disagreement, this might be, I haven't seen you in, like, ten days, I'm not really feeling safe and secure with this relationship could also be a job. Um, your last card is manifestation. What awaits you? Alright, this is where the relationship card comes in. The two of cups. So this is going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Um, the two of cups is deep emotional connection or attraction. So, you're going to find somebody, or you might have a new person, or you might renew your old relationship, and become a two of cups. Okay? So, if you like this reading about pink moon predictions, um, leave a like. 
and a comment maybe and if you really like it subscribe that'd be awesome thank you for watching bye now